Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Okay, this is a quick tip. A lot of uh, people haven't heard about the X key and what this can do in your clip. Let me give you a little example here. Let's say uh, I'm down here editing this clip and let's say here, I want to do a uh, overwrite in my timeline of just this clip. So the smart thing to do at first you'd think is um, hit your up and down arrows to go to the corner. So if I come here, I for in point, O for out point, and there I'm going to do my overwrite and come up here and do that later. But basically, the problem is with this, if, if I zoom in a lot, you can actually tell, if you go in frame by frame, you can see that the out point here is actually taking the first frame of the, the following clip. So the problem is you're going to lose a frame, basically, if you do this overwrite this way. But if I undo that, and take out those in and out points, come roughly to the middle of this clip, and you know anywhere it doesn't matter as long as it's towards the middle, and click X, and it simply sets in and out points for you right here, very easy, and it doesn't cut out this first frame of this the following clip, so that's very simple. Let me show you again on another clip. Let's come over here, and you don't have to have it selected at all. You just click X and in and out points, very easy a lot faster so try that it's a little quick tip I got for you and I'll see you guys later